welcome back to Glory Hunter episode 77. Yeah, and you're with me, Alex, as always, and I hope you're doing well for a start. And today, a bit of a different one. We've got the France job, the international job. We've got the France game. No, I, I thought I'd just do one of this sort of... Um, it's a European... It's the away from Nations League. So we've got France... Well, our group is Denmark, England, France and Serbia. I don't think I'll bring in many games for it. Um, but yeah, I think I think I'll just I'll get through the qualifications, which I believe this sort of is. This I think this is every year. I might bring you a few games here and there of France, but generally we've not really got much going on. And then obviously not this year, but the year after, you'll be looking at the what's it called? You'll be looking at Europa League, Europa League, the Euros, and then obviously the World Cup. So I'll bring you a few. I just thought I'd introduce the France squad and whatnot, build a squad with you, and also address this hair, which is looking, it's just a bit long at the moment. So it will be returning to the cap. So that, there's the reason for this. You'll probably see this in a lot of episodes now. Um, so yeah, uh, right, we're going to get on to the tactics. So let's have a look what we can do. I'll just turn my phone on silent. There we go. Uh, I'm going to create my own style. France, I believe 4 3 3 would probably suit us quite nicely, I think. Um, where are we? Where's the 4 3 3? We don't, we don't really have many 4 3 3s here, which is a bit odd. So we, we, want, we want a 4 3 3. 4 1 uh, 2 2 1, is it? 4 1 4 1. I don't, I don't know where it is. Is that? No. Uh, we'll, we'll go with it and we'll just move everything forward. So here we go. This, this is the sort of formation I was thinking. It, depend, it depends what sort of players we've got. So, let's have a look who we have here. So, obviously, we know Mbappe is definitely going in the squad for sure. For starts, where is he? There he is. So, he is going in at that right wing position, inside forward. Oh, is he playing on the left? I thought he was right footed. Yeah, he's right footed. He played on the left and right. Better as an inside forward on, cutting in from the left, but I think I'll play him as an inside forward on the right because he prefers. He's better on the right-hand side. Great crossing ability. So I think he'll, that'll suit him better. Where's the faces gone? The faces have disappeared. That's going to annoy me. That's going to annoy me. They keep disappearing every so often. Is, what about Marshall? Is Marshall's face there? No, Marshall's face. Tell you what. I'll cut back. I'll be like two minutes. I'll cut back and we shall come back to hopefully... Um, hopefully some faces on here. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Right. Transition, let's see if we can do this. Right. Um, confu I, mean, I, I, I don't know. Torpedoes works. Um, Ganduzi doesn't work. Um, Gory doesn't work. Uh, Lucas Hernandez doesn't work. I, I don't know. I'm just confused. Musa Dembele doesn't work. Um, Hamuche doesn't have one. Dembele? Doesn't work. Right, anyway, we'll just, we'll just carry on. Um, right, I need to start recording the game again, obviously. Uh, so. So. Um, it doesn't work. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to put up with it for this for sort of this game. Uh, Mbappe playing on that side. Marshall, the other striker, can play on the left-hand side, although he does like playing on... Up top, I think these two out wide would be quite quite a nice composition. And Hamuche up front is what I'm thinking. This the, this front three looks absolutely lethal as far as I'm concerned. I really like the look of it. Um, then, in terms of going in behind, Uwa, I know for a fact he's very good in an advanced playmaker role. So I'd like to play him. Um, <laughs> Right, 
I'll tell you what, I'll, I think what I'll do is I'll drop Pamuche as a complete forward attack because that'll fill in that role a bit more and let the other two push forward in behind. It'll be quite nice. So, yeah, uh, we're going to see how we perform as, how would you put it, 18 minutes already gone. Wow, this episode might be long. <laughs> um, I might have to cut that up actually, for sure. I don't know how long it, it, I took, but yeah, as you can see, the few player faces working, the few aren't. Um, I expect nothing but a win from this game for sure. And let's see how we can perform as France. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. To, oh, as Mbappe picks up a calf strain immediately. I'm going to let him play through it. I think he can play through it. Um, it's not my player. So <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he can play through it now. Uh, we're playing. We're not, we're not doing anything. We're not, we're not creating. Get creative, lads. Come on. Get attacking. We need to see something from in the middle here. Um, match stats. We're looking to be sort of evenly matched here. I might try and I might try and push the engagement line a bit higher up. Play that offside trap. See what that does. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can get some get a win out of this game against Serbia, and then we also have England to play as well. And Serbia are coming forward. Jovic on this right hand side plays it back to Zivkovic. Lukic to Plav to Plavsic. Hernandez picks up out in the middle though, Mbappe now to Uar. Can he find Marshall on that left hand side? He doesn't, but gives it back to Mbappe, who is world class. Let's see what he can do. Finds Marshall. The shot goes a miss. Back to Uar. Back to Marshall. He's got to finish it. Oh, he misses. Ugh, I want. A, I want a win in this game for sure. We need. Well, we need to win this game because uh, it's between us and England going through near enough. As a penalty has been awarded, and Hamuche is taking it. No, he's not Mbappe, thank God. Mbappe, uh, Hamuche got fouled, that's the one Mbappe's taking. Can he tuck it? Mbappe missed. I know he's nerfing a calf strain, but no excuse for that. Can he redeem himself here? Mbappe, he does. He puts it in the back of it. There we go, 32 minutes gone. He's getting a bit worried there because I thought we've, we've had about four chances, three or four chances where we probably should have scored as Martial. As you can see, the run, the running in behind is <laughs> just scary. As Mbappe puts it between the keeper's legs, gets by him, and there we go. It's one nil. It's sort of calmed down. We've got the goal that we need. Right, let's see what we can do. As they actually have a free kick on the brink of half time here, and they've scored. Well, that was short lived. That was very short lived. Um, yeah, the defence sort of fell asleep there. Great save by the keeper, and then who's that at the back post? Is it Hernandez? Number seven, actually. I don't know who number seven is, but I've just clicked on Czech Republic. Let's carry on. Demand more. Uh, what? I don't know what's happening. Get Come on, lads. We, we should be winning this. It's Serbia, for goodness sake. As Mbappe's playing well. Ah, yes, right. There's a highlight just before the second half, well, the, the half-time whistle. Martial cutting in from that left-hand side, plays in, into Mbappe with a great first touch. Hamuche! Oh, the link-up play between the front three there. Whoa, it's very, very nice. It's very nice indeed. As Martial picks it up, dribbles it inside. Really good dribbler. This is why cutting inside is probably the main game I'll be playing here. Mbappe pulls it back to Hamuche. He just slots it in that bottom left-hand corner. Very nice play. Mbappe, hopefully for the Euros, hopefully for the Euros, he'll still be fit and able enough to play. Um, whether or not we see him, I don't, I don't, I don't know really. We'll have to see anyway. Uh, Martial will be 32 by that point. Will he still be playing? Goodness knows, I don't know really. Um, Mbappe, how old is Mbappe? 27 on this. So he'll be 29. No, that's Martial. Hovered over the wrong one. So he'll be 32, Martial. Probably reaching the end of his peak. Um, Mbappe cutting inside. <sighs> he's, ma he's magical. He's absolutely magical, isn't he? Oh, man, Mbappe. Mbappe crosses the ball in. Can you find anyone in the box? No. 
Marshall picks it up. Right, come on, lad. Find another crossing. Gets past his man. Can he get another crossing? He can't. And he goes out for another corner. He needs to probably make the, get the corner takers and free kick takers on it. On actually. That'll be an interesting one. Um, Hernandez drops it down to Genduzi. He has a go. And it just falls wide of the post, which ain't too bad. 54th, 55th minute now. 56th minute. We should, we did, we're pretty comfortable at this point. Um, I'm going to make a few subs just for the next game. Dombele can come off. Tolisso I'll bring on. And Mbappe off for sure. I'm going to bring on Thomas Lamar to have, let him have a bit of a go. And then Blade, Benjamin Pavard coming on for him just to see, get to grips with this sort of France squad and see what's going down. Uh, Mbappe obviously nursing an injury. That's why he's come off. Um, don't really want to see him get massively injured. Although, he, as I said, he isn't my player, which so I shouldn't really care. But yeah, don't want to see him too badly injured. So the ball's played forward for Serbia now. Pavard intercepts that and it's played back to Magnan. Magnan on the ball, plays it towards Amuche. Can he win that header? He can, and it falls to Lamar, right. I know he's a good cross for the ball, Lamar. Will he find a decent cross in? He takes it all the way, to be fair, and it's a great save by Radjkovic. And we're sitting currently top of the group as Denmark have drawn, have equalised, sorry, against England. And Kane has missed the penalty. England are currently drawing, and if well, I say if we get another goal here, that three points will be huge. And it'll be quite, in fact, it'll be very interesting to see what happens next. To move chase, three on goal. Just can't get that third for us. Come on, lads. Let's see one, one more. Show some passion towards the end of the game. Let's see one more. Can we get one more? 93rd minute now. Four minutes added time, it's pretty much over, and I think that's going to be game over. The question is, did England... Well done, that was a good win for us. Did England draw or win? That's the question, because we play them in three days' time. Um, Mbappe injured, how long is he out for? Oh, I'll send me assistant there. How long is he out for? Mbappe. Let's talk to him. What, what are you saying, bro? Right, he's very happy. I really appreciate you taking four weeks. You're in my thoughts. I hope you get better soon. Mbappe loves it. Mbappe is loving me. Right, we'll advance forward to the England game. And yeah, I'll, I might cut out the um, the whole building of the squad. Uh, because that... This is a long episode, and I don't really want it to be too long, to be fair. It is only the international games. So, yeah, I'll cut to the England game now. And, yeah, I'll bring you the, bring you the line up, and then we'll just get straight into business. Right, we're back for the England game. Um, this is the lineup we're going to go for. We're going to go for a two up top, I think, this time as well. Megan in there, eight Nori, Tobedo, Dia can't be coming in for the sort of like tired Lucas Hernandez. And then Blade staying at right back Uar, and then Tolisso to partner himself in the middle with the two instead of Genduzi. Out left Lamar instead of Martial. Out right Dembele instead of the injured Marci uh, Martial Mbappe. And up front Hamuche with Gori. I'm going to go for the two up front option. And uh, Dembele is on the bench, Camavinga as well, and Martial look just like nursing a bit of fitness. Just didn't want to, I just prefer sharper players basically. Sharper players. So we're going to submit the side. Going a bit more balanced this time, uh, changing up a little bit. And hopefully we can get something from this. It'll be interesting to see what we can do. Um, yeah, their lineup: Harry Kane up front, Sterling on the left, Greenwood on the right, King Greenwood as we know him, Panzo, Stones, Alexander Arnold, Foden and Bellingham in the middle coming into their primes. They're very, very good. Liam Glover as well, the um, ex Bournemouth player who's now at, I believe, Barcelona. Um, yeah, eighty-nine million he went to Barcelona for. He's playing all right there, but he had a great season at Bournemouth the first year. 13 goals, 4 assists for them. So he's a player to look out for. Sarkovic, I've never heard of. But he looks very good. 2020, 2020. 22 years of age, contracted to Liverpool. 15 marking, 15 tackling, 6 foot 4. So we know he's going to be very good at heading. Um, so yeah, just watch out for him. And then Alan, is that Alan Allen? Or is it Scott Scott? It's Aaron Allen. Can we remember Scott Scott, but Aaron Allen. I thought it was going to be Alan Allen then. 22 years of age, he looks very good to be fair as well, from Leicester. So yeah, we're going to get into it. Um, passionately, uh, avenge what happened last time from against England. Let's go forward. It's a bit of an odd one, because obviously I'm English. 
<laughs> yeah, we're going to see what we can do. Denmark taking an early lead against Serbia. As we put the ball into the back post and Taliso just puts it wide. Decent start by us. Opposition instructions. I'm going to ask the... I'm going to ask the assistant just to put them on a, bit, a little bit there. Sterling, he's got a deep free kick to put in. He plays it to Greenwood short. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Oh. <laughs> As Greenwood has put one past us already. And it's not looking good. I'm going to go a bit more positive, I think. Sterling plays it short to Greenwood. No one picking him up. Who is this that comes out to him? Number 10. I think it's Mucce. Just doesn't stay on him and then puts it in that bottom right-hand corner. His finishing is impeccable. And yeah, 1-0 up for England. They go ahead of us in the group now. And it means we have to try and get a goal. We have to try and get a goal here. Stones plays it out wide to Alexander-Arnold, who's pushed very high up there. Plays the ball down the line. Nori picks it up. Play it back to the goalkeeper. There we go. Diacarbi on it now. They're, they're pushing it. They're, they're coming in and pushing us like quite hard to England here. As Foden has managed to get the ball back off our player. Taliso picks it up though and intercepts and they have committed a lot of plays forward now. Dembele running forward. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he put it past him? He can't beat Alan. Oh, the day that FM introduces pulling back the, the ball, right, passing the ball backwards as they're going in on goal will be an unreal update. <laughs> they just run forward and don't even acknowledge the fact that there's two more players running into the box. Um, he's controlling the game today. We've got to sort of sort him out, Greenwood. Definitely should have done something earlier. Gonna gonna close him down a lot a lot more. He doesn't really have a weak foot. Tight mark him as well. Close down Sterling. Put Harry Kane. Uh, tight mark Harry Kane actually. And then Foden. I want to close him down as well. Bellingham's all right. Uh, Alexander Arnold closing down. Putting on his weaker foot because he's got a very weak foot. Um, Panzo. Don't really don't really know much about Panzo and don't really. Acknowledge him. Uh, Sterling with the ball in. Can we get come away with it? We do. Lamar has the ball now. Will he find Hamuche? That's the question. No, he doesn't. He takes it all the way. He's taking it all the way. He's take... That would have been like Gareth Bale's goal in the Copa del Rey final against Barcelona with Mark Bartra. That would have been unreal there. As Foden's coming forward. Belaird has just ruined the game, really. Uh, <laughs> 30 minutes gone. I'm going to have to take someone off now. Oh, it, it, oh. Gory's going to have to come off I'm going to have to drop these lads a bit deeper Lamar, I know, I think I think Lamar can play that position there as a winger Dembele's going to play as a winger he's going to be more, a bit more attacking Pavard's going to come on that is a that is atrocious really uh, full back supports now I think it's going to have to be full back support um, play a bit more cautious and play a bit more direct, I think. Ah, that's that's a shame. So, a uh, red card, you're going to see England probably advance through here now. Um, yeah, that is a real shame. I don't know how many times... You, I need to really scout this group. I don't know how many times you actually play this as they're coming forward again now. Bellingham coming through, plays through Sterling. It's, he's offside, though. Ah, there we go. A bit of this saving grace there. 33rd minute. Yeah, we're just going to have to hold on now, I think. It's going to be tough against quite a strong England team, really. Uh, Greenwood, Kane, Sterling, Glover. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can maybe, maybe, maybe win the ball back and then it'll be a kick. It comes to the back post. Kane's followed it up. Oh, no, it's atrocious defending. What's going on? It's atrocious defending this... Tell you what, this episode just hasn't gone as planned. You know, you, you just you just have some of them days, don't you? And this episode, I mean, they've tightly marked Kane brilliantly and then it's just fallen to him and they've just know nothing about it. 2-0 to England. France, yeah. It sort of shows how key Mbappe is, really. Imagine if he was playing in this side, just running forward, instead of a lot of Lamar. Yeah. The only thing we can probably hope for is England get a bit tired, but... I don't know. I'm going to get assertive with it. Come on, lads. We're a man down, but we're going to get the result here. There's a lot more to come from you. Uh, I appreciate the effort. You've just been unlucky. Yeah, I appreciate the effort. You've been unlucky. And there's not much else I can say. Belaird getting sent off has really done us in here, I think. Um, Fitness-wise, looking great. But will that matter in the long run? I don't think so. don't think so. Maybe, the, maybe, 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 just maybe. 
the higher line of engagement is needed with an offside track. Let's see. That might be, hopefully that's the key, is the, they are pushing quite high up. Bellingham on the ball, he's taking it part around us. <sighs> and a player that I previously signed <laughs> nearly scoring. It's quite interesting seeing this England team and seeing how they're lining up, because this is near enough, this is near enough eight years in the future from the 2018, yeah, it is t eight years in the future. So Alexander Arnold, I don't think, did he play? I think he played a little bit. John Stone sort of played there. Uh, they've brought on Gary Johnson. Bellingham wasn't really a key factor. Uwa's picked up an injury, which is not good at all for us. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> and Dumbele can come in for him. Nori's had a decent game. He's had a bad game. Usmane Dembele's had a bad game. Martial can come in. I think I'll swap Lamar and Martial round. Swap those two rounds. So, we actually have a throw in here. Hamuche plays it to Tolisso. Can he spread the play? He can't. And they've won it back immediately. Gary Johnson on the ball plays it to Harry Kane. He drops a bit deeper. Sterling cutting inside now. Lamar, don't get... Don't put in a tackle. Bellingham. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, he scored. He's so good as well. Serbia winning 3-2 against Denmark. So a few twists. There's a lot of twists going on here. A lot of twists. Eng England now top of the group. Lamar puts in the tackle. They just play a nice little one-two. Bellingham through on goal and slots into that bottom left-hand corner. Beautiful goal by England. And yeah, we're struggling. We're struggling out here. We've got no Pogba. We've got no Mbappe. Um, yeah, it's, it's um, hard times. So we're gonna we're gonna carry on. I'm gonna, probably just gonna go attacking now and try and push push as hard as I can. Um, get creative, lads. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do for the last few minutes of the game. Nine men. I think I don't think we're ever going to win this. It's three nil. I mean, avoiding a avoiding like a five nil is probably the main thing at this point in time. Talisa on the ball. If we can get a goal, I'd be proud. To be fair, Muche through. Can he put it away? Can he put it away? Oh, and with a decent save in the near post, this is unreal. Muche picks it back up. What can he do with it now? Can he pull it back? He can't. It, it's in and around the area, and they've managed to get it clear. Sterling picking it up to Stones, and comfortably they get it away now. But that was a moment of madness there. Mag Magnon as well, S plays it to Martial. Martial cut inside, has a little shot, but nothing comes of it. I think the key, I think the key to international games now is going to be just playing the best team available every time. I sort of rested players because I'm treating it like my club games where I've got loads of games coming up. It's only two games, and Dombele wins the ball back. If we can have a player ball forward here, that'd be quite nice, as he plays it straight to hudson Adoy. Panzo plays the ball forward to Kane, who obviously wins that header, and is that the end of the game? It's a free kick, but it's probably going to be the end of the game. Tobedo kicks the ball to Diakabi. Is it going to be the end of this? Lamar cuts inside, and there we go, yeah. It's the end of it. 3-0 to England, which, I mean... It's not great. It's not. It's not that bad either, really. Um, Wenger offers thoughts on physical play. Uh, Uar's injured. Uh, I'll attend this press conference. Let's see what they're saying. I think play. I just didn't get the look today. The lads were due a day off. How does this different plans from now on? Um, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Your know, task made even harder by red card. Do you feel? Let down. It made things more difficult for the teammates. They're the ones that have been let down. Unfortunately, against Jude Bellingham in fine form, uh, he's just class. He's just class. I mean, what can you say? So yeah, we're going to advance forward. We'll actually be playing um, a few games. Oh, the positive and defeat. They're not happy at all. Should be more ambitious. What? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a long group, I think. It's gonna be a long group. Let's see, we're in group four. Who else do we? Oh, we play each other twice, so we have the chance to redeem ourselves against England at least. But yeah, let's see what well, let's, let's see what occurs. I can't. It's gonna be between us and England. We've we've already lost one. England have drawn. It'll just be a case of trying to beat England now. But yeah, we'll we'll come back. I might I might bring you another one. And yeah, next. Uh, I think tomorrow's episode, I'll record again now. And yeah, that'll be an interesting one as well. The The Champions League group's an interesting one. I'll, sh I'll quickly show you. Why not? Why not?
Champions League, not Championship, Champions League. Uh, it is an interesting group. It's an, a very interesting group. Um, PSG, Valencia, Inter Milan, and Olympiacos. Valencia, we're actually in the um, second round, I think, or in the first round. Either way, Pytex there, Zuma, Kerra, another another ex player of us, Kerra, uh, Andre Anderson, Schmidt, and not really seen Schmidt, but he's the key player. And he looks very good. A uh, 19 year old wonder kid from Belgium. A lot of, tell you what, a lot of Belgian players that are very, very good in midfield. It'll be interesting to see how they set up, but yeah, that's the group. That's what I'll be bringing you tomorrow. I think it's the first game against Valencia, I want to say. Let's check the schedule very quickly. I, I think I'll have, I'll have caught out by now the tactics screen and just brought it straight to you. The first game is indeed against Inter Milan. So yeah, Inter Milan and Lille, that'll be a huge game. Inter Milan, aside, not looking very good at the moment, I've got to say. Gareth Southgate in charge, they've brought in a lot of well, a lot of regenerated players. Um, the best player is Carlos Corona, who's very good in midfield, a very good midfielder. Then in Dombele in behind him, Franco, another centre-attacking midfielder, he's very, very good. Vecini, I think another regen. He's very good, but he's injured at the moment, out for seven, five, seven weeks. And then Frederick Lucas, another player that looks fantastic. A lot of, a lot of young players, and then Komen. So yeah, uh, that's going to be that. I'll leave the episode there. If you did enjoy this episode, which has been a bit <laughs> bit off, we've had a mixed result here. Um, no player faces, uh, a loss against England 3-0. It's been, been a bit of a downer, but... Going forward, that's the France squad introduced. We can just sort of get into the games when we need to, just to have a nice little episode. And yeah, uh, I hope I hope you've enjoyed it. This is the the future of international management for you. Uh, leave a like if you did enjoy. Obviously, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. If you're watching this and you're not subscribing, I hope you subscribe to see this sort of content consistently. And yeah, um, for now until tomorrow. Ciao.